five sets now and we have an interval after the first set and after the third set no uh, it's played out as it goes according to the bull up so there's no sort of uh what do we call it uh, it's not a, a a leg to settle it it's actually done on the bull up behind the scenes yep straight legs all the way through the sets so if you've won the bull in set one or four set one you'll have it in set three and set five so Warburton's going to have that little advantage if indeed he needs it. And there you see Team Warby. That's Lucy, his wife, on the right. Proudly flying the flag of Wales. Yeah, we see plenty of Welsh flags when we come to Leeds. 140. And plenty of Welsh voices as well. Wayne Warren in action down here, of course. He usually gets some Welsh voices behind him, doesn't he? Just 140. I'll be really interested to see what Wayne does when he comes down. I think it's tomorrow. Well, this is familiar territory for Dave Prince now. And I have to say, based on what he's done 117. in 2022 so far, this might be the right time for him to feel comfortable on this stage. You mentioned the Isle of Man open win, John. Well, you're looking at the two last winners of the Isle of Man Open 85. because Warby was the last man to win a WDF ranked event before the pandemic started, which was the Isle of Man Open in 2020. Yep, it was indeed. There is an argument that having come through a preliminary 99. match, as, as Dave has done, and Mike, you require 146. in fairly good shape, that uh, there can be a slight advantage in that, in that you've got, your, you've got yourself up and running on that stage Mike can't get the check out here, so Prince 90. will come back with an opportunity. This Dave is Dave's chance 90. of a break of throw. I echo what you just said about that advantage of playing in the first round ahead of a seeded match. Let's find out if it works for Prince in leg one as he goes for double five for the 90 out. Game it's worked all right. That's a line. great start from Dave the back. There you are. No commentator's curse there. And he showed that he was Second absolutely up and to running. First. And very comfortable with that 90 checkout. And that is a break of throw. I also love what you said about that performance against Connor Scott in the Live League because I was commentating on that match. Were you? It was remarkable. And here's the scary bit. It should have been better. It was 115.62. But it 100. could have been 122 had he hit his first match dart. Is that the uh, is that the highest average there's been in those uh, online tournaments, the leagues? The highest averages that we've seen, Mike's was the 100. third best. Right. The next uh, would have been 117 by Kevin Burness. And Jason Askew, son of the great Dave Askew, had a 118 wow. in the very first week of it about 12 months ago. Goodness 59. Me. But as they'll all say, you know, a little bit different behind closed doors than being up there under the lights in front of the cameras with an audience watching on. Absolutely right. But the one 100. thing about there being a somewhat subdued crowd here today is that it's a bit more similar to, be, to being behind closed doors than maybe some other days would be here at the lakeside. Yep, there's only a... A sparse crowd here today, no disguise in that fact. There's one man who we recognise, always here year after year after year. Super fan himself. Jackie Gernthals, what a great man. Always supports darts, no matter where it travels to. 60. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a proper darts fan. He's had uh, a couple of health issues over the last year or two, and great to see him back here and... He was uh, doing a little bit of carousing last night, and as ever, he was in great form. I just wonder 96. who he's got, or who he's hanging his hat on, maybe, this week. Is it going to be Andy Bartons? Is it going to be Brian Roman, the number one seed? He always goes for the Belgians. Yeah, he's got the, he's, he's, he, 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 likes, uh, he likes the Dutch players as well, doesn't 60. he? 60. Yeah, his favourite player used to be Geert de Vos, the f man they call Foxy, where he's playing in the PDC now, and he's doing all right. Oh, this is good. Should be treble 17. And 126. Gets it. 
So the Prince on 61. 100. He has got options. Dave, you require 61. Behind. He could go treble seven, but it's likely that he'll go for the 25 to try and give himself the best chance of two darts at double to take a 2-0 lead. He's a bit unsure. Yeah, you can see the cogs turning a little bit. He's not quite made up his mind which way he's going now. Now he has. Is it going to be the bull route? It is, and he's got the dart. Two darts at double 18. That's a fine dart. So this is for 2-0. Composing himself. Double nine. 43. Unfortunately, just high. Might you require 81. 81 then. Treble 19 will be the target. Finds it for double 12. Game shot on the second. Beautiful check out from Warburton. My Warburton. To snap straight back. He was fortunate to get a look at that. But the one thing we have to, to say first. about Mike, Game on. the 13 seed, is that he wants this so badly. He's worked so hard to get to this stage. It's no surprise to see him here. He is genuinely 60. a fabulous player. And we've got so much in the way of time to see what he can do over the next decade. He is here for the long run. A couple of small technical issues there on those first couple 85. of legs. Apologies if we didn't bring you a couple of the more telling visits and telling darts. But the important thing is that we got the darts which mattered at the end of the legs and uh, Mike Warburton and Dave Prince squared up at one apiece in this opening set. Best of five sets at this stage of the competition. I don't have a record of these guys ever playing each other, which they've is not. quite quite rare. No, they've not. I had, a, I had a chat with them earlier and I, I asked that question and they said, no, we don't, you know, we, we're obviously aware of each other, but we've never actually faced each other competitively. Yeah, they've been on the same sort of... 140. Journeys over the last few years, but not crossing swords at this point is unusual. But to play your first game against somebody in a world championship stage, maybe that's a good thing because you don't 96. have any well, too much information like as to how they play. Get up there and, and you're not scarred, you're not scarred by experience. Absolutely right. Somebody's given you a hammering, and you've got that sort of at the back of your mind. It's uh, it can be a bit of a can be a bit of a baggage to carry. Very true. Now, what can Prinz do from 220? Because all he's thinking about is maximum to leave tops. Has to think of plan B. Got to stay straight. That's a surgical shot. 100. Well, that's not bad. Mike, you Two require darts can do it, though, for Mike Warburton. 96 needed. 76. Still needs the treble 20 for double eight. And he's got it. So double eight. 80. Ooh, that was so close. Dave require miss 120. He wants it just above the lipstick by maybe three millimeters. That's not bad. That could be kind. He just went to hit the dart and missed it. 82. Double eight then. Just needed Mike that requires first dart 60. to be a little bit more central than it was, Dave Prince. Game shot on the third leg. Two one Warburton leads. It's and you've seen a lot I of have. different styles. When Mike Warburton is back at the hockey, I just want you to give me your opinion about his style because I've been saying for a good two years now, I thoroughly believe he's got 100. the best throw in world darts. It's that technically perfect. Well, you're better qualified to make that uh, observation than me, but I tell you what, a, a big thing which I always look for is the balance and 60. the static head as the throw as the throw is delivered and Mike Warburton certainly has that you know you see a lot of players who who dip and bob around going back in time Jockey Wilson more in more recent times I suppose Mensur Suljevic and, and others but what you can say about Mike Warburton is that he does have that classical stillness and if you see him from the side you'll certainly be able to just check that up look how little head movement there is there yeah, when he's not happy with the dart, you'll see that turn smile, but I challenge anybody to tell me about a throw that's better than Warby's. He's got a bit of a Kevin Painter upturn smile, <laughs> hasn't he? There's a he bit has. Of the, there's a bit of the, uh, the, the downward look as he concentrates. Probably perfectly happy. Kevin was, well, he wasn't 100. always happy, but he wasn't happy when he was losing, was he? But he, the, he was you, very you, happy when he was winning. You take what he, <laughs> absolutely, you take, you take what I'm on about. If you want a little laugh today, 
in the break from the Lakeside Action. 92. Go to YouTube and find the 1995 World Championship highlights. And you might see Kevin Painter with a mullet. And it seems to me like mullets are back in fashion here at Lakeside. We saw one from Hopi Puha. That was a bit of a storming haircut. A bit more traditional 99. from these two guys. Yeah, I don't think Dave's got too much of an option on his haircut, has he? It's, it's, a, bit of a, it's a bit of a Tony O'Shea. Yeah, you don't see many badgers with mullets. 60. Dave, you acquire 144. Oh, Favourite Italian dart player. Made his debut yesterday. Didn't shame himself one little bit. Prinzi looking for another 318s for double 18 here. Almost Ooh, finds it unlucky. too. That was unlucky. 88. Oh, that's a pretty good leave. So, Mike just looking to try and put some pressure on. Ton 40 would be nice. We're and another, what? please. He needs another. 100. Mm, maybe not enough. Dave, you require 56. So, for 2-2. Two, two. He's left the number that Dave Prince left before. But it's tops. It's no longer tops. Wow, he has left double 16, 24. but now he's got to hold his breath for a few seconds to see Mike if Warburton misses this to give himself a chance to stay in set one. I wonder. Trouble 20, first port of call. Can't finish now. So Dave Prince will come back with that double 16 to make it two apiece and send it to the deciding leg. Dave, you require 32. This is where you don't 32. want to make any errors. Don't give your opponent a free shot for the set. Is that awkward? Is the flight in the way? Now he's got a bumper on the left-hand side. Game shot on the Didn't fourth really line. need it. That's a great Dangerous. shot from Prinzi. It's 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, just split him, didn't he? he didn't Fifth use it as a, throw first. You know, it's Game looked on. a good marker, as you say, a bumper, but he didn't need it. It was the precision final dart. So it goes to the decider. 100. Important for who gets the early advantage in the match. Mike Warburton on throw. Be disappointed if he was turned over here. Unlucky. This is the beautiful thing about set play. When you come to this one leg decider in a set, these are the big moments that you've got to win. Not only to win matches like this, but in order to win the championship. It's a good standard in the first set. Good footing. 87 average for Warburton, 85 for Prince, but they can improve on 60. that. 60. Well, he's not taking a stranglehold on this yet. Dave Prince right in there. Needs the treble 20. The lipstick, as they say. Coming downstairs. 59. Can't quite find the cover shot he was looking for. Warburton's a very thoughtful player. I spent many a time after we've played a tournament together just mulling over what went wrong and right that day. He very much does believe 100. in himself. Oh he's got great innate confidence. But you don't realise what kind of player you are until you've been in this uncomfortable situation. Just some unusual messages on those things which are held aloft, don't you? Driving my mum's car. 134. <laughs> Super Paul Mullen. What's that other one? Is what still around? <laughs> Maybe we better not look at that. 140. Again. Maybe not. Great 140 from Warby, 101, guaranteed shot. As to the pressure on that shot, let's find out from Dave. Super, needs another. Doesn't 100. get one, that's to it, it's tricky. Not Mike bad, not bad though, Paul. He's uh, at least got a shot out. 101 for Mike Warburton. Treble 19 would leave double 12. He's got it, double 12. This for the set. 77. Ooh, I'll tell you what, it was a well-thrown dart as well. It really was. Dave, you Nothing require 128. There. But if Prince was to find this, Warburton will feel sick. Now, he needs another. He doesn't have to go with treble 18 here. He's got 74 remaining, but he's going to go back to the 54 and just misses out for the second time in two legs on that kind of checkout. So, Warburton back for 12s. Well, it's a must-take now. Mike, you require Prince 24. On tops. Double 12. Sixes. Oh, 
Oh, and that 12. was a big pressure dart, and that could be hurtful. Dave, you require set 40. Set dart missed. What a bonus for Prince, and this is a set against the darts as well. What a freebie. Can he take it on tens? Can't get any closer than that. 30. Me, had it surrounded. He'll think, how on earth has one of those not gone in? Mike, you require 12. Misses bring drama, John. No, we have plenty of misses at the end of this set. Game shot on well, the first Mike leg. Warburton gets Mike the hold Warburton. after all. Second Winning set, averages. first leg. It's Dave to throw Over first. Over 100 on this stage. In fact, the first 100 average ever was a losing average. Which was? Someone by the name of Della? Is he the guy who got the 138? I've never heard that rumour. <laughs> I know he's watching, and he, I know he's going to feel wound up, but... Hi, Keith. <laughs> 60. <laughs> Don't be nasty. I'm not. The great check out. 139, wasn't it? That's still one of the best checkouts ever. That 60. Is a fact. In the context of the game, to win a world title, to get a 138 is fairly extraordinary. Yeah, you don't get many bigger than that to win a world title. I think it's only been beaten once here in 2000 by Ted Hankey, but 140. the only other one I can think of to win any world championship that was huge was 131 by Phil Taylor in 2010. Nathan Aspinall won the UK Open with a 170. Yeah. 60. Boy, won the world match play with a 170. Yeah, when you do that, you thoroughly deserve the title. Are these guys going to get a shot at doing that on Sunday? And it has to be noted as well, John, that Sunday is going to be very different here at the Lakeside. 100. Because all four championships will be crowned on Sunday. The ladies will not be crowned on Saturday. One hundred. Mike Warburton was most people's tip to win this one. It's been a really interesting year for Dave Prince. He's... Played at the World Seniors back in February, and his first match. match in that tournament was against John Law. Can you imagine what that must have felt like? Just playing against the man who won here in 1987. He dispatched him pretty easily in the end. 60. He played well in the Seniors. Danger by 160. 160 then. On throw to square up the match. That's a great first dart. Needs another. And he's got it. Tops for 160. Game, Game shot. Oh, yes, first indeed. Dave Beautifully thrown. And a nod of acknowledgement Second, from Mike, Mike Warburton, first. who says, well played. That's a great check out. We saw Joe Clements have a crack at that a couple of days ago. She missed Tops for it. And there we see Prince showing how it's done. For me, that's best check out of the tournament so far. The old Badger's got his eye in. Do you know why he's called the Badger? Um, I, I don't, but you're going 85. to tell me, aren't you? It's just about the salt and pepper look in his grey hair and a bit of black in there as well. No, there's not too much, I was going to say, there's not too much pepper in there nowadays. It's going on a little, little bit on the salty side. 60. Nothing wrong with a bit of salt. Have you noticed I've started to get nature's highlights? I've known you so long, John, that it just looks, you know, you look the same as you did the last time I saw you. 125. The secret of growing old well is to look ancient when you're young. I saw Co Stompy yesterday and I said to him, you Talking have an age. Of which, he's coming up 60 now, Co. 140. For it too. Yeah, he made the semi-finals back in 2000. I didn't want to tell him that I was the last person to beat him in a world championship. He probably wouldn't have liked me anymore. 45. Nip and tuck on this second leg of the second set. Mike Warburton, one ahead. Best of five. 100. There we are. Nice sleep from Grab. Warburton. He's got choices when he comes back to the hockey. It may depend on what Dave does here. If he turns up as well... He might look at the 19s for that 146 because two 60. trebles will leave double 16. 
He does like require one hundred and forty six. favourite between tops and sixteen. So it looks like he's going traditional. Dave Prince marginally outscoring Warburton at the moment. Not a lot between them. 60. Long way to go in the match. Most important thing is where the score's going, and Dave Prince will be very keen to build on that 160, which brought him the break of throw. 121. Mike, you require 86. Should be one shot at the ball minimum. Guarantee the single 18. He does for the ball. 61. Good effort. Dave so requires 65. 65. 25 maybe for tops. 49 left. 49. Well, he'll go nine again, won't he? You would think. Should do. He's already hit tops. Oh, he always missed it. Dear me. Such is darts. You get a 160. 33. And then you miss the big nine to set up tops. I think he was concentrating too much on tops and he hadn't even got there yet. Double eight for Warby for 1-1. One, one. He's a bit fortunate to be getting this look. 17. He doesn't take full advantage of it. Dear me. Dave, you require 32. Right. 32 this time for 2-0. Double 12. 17. That should be a decent marker. Game shot in the second leg. Dave Prince. Seeing one of the heaviest darts on tour is Dave Prince. Third leg, it's Dave to throw first. I do believe they're 26 Game grams. On. They're a little bit heavier than the usual amount that you would see someone throwing. That's up in Ryle, Ryan Searle uh, weight category, isn't it? He had a terrific uh, win on the uh, PDC uh, tour yesterday. Yeah, he's marvellous. What a great player. Whoa, Robin Hood for the Badger. That might require a new flight. Oh, I think he's happy with it. I think he's all right. He had a perfunctory glance. 100. And he was happy that no lasting damage had been done. Well, with those darts weighing 26 grams, you'd think that maybe a bit of damage would have been done, but those flights must be really strong. 134. The you get to sort of 12, 13, 14, aren't they? And then those are 26, you're pushing up towards the heaviest. Yeah, I do believe that the lightest starts to have won this title belong to Stephen back in 2014. What, what weight were they? I believe they were 12 grams. Mm, I, 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 um, yeah, I remember Dennis Priestley had very, very light darts, didn't he? I think he threw 13 or 14. Yeah, his were very light. And he 84. so gracefully. One of the fiercest competitors of them all, Dennis was. Yeah, if you've never had the chance to watch the highlights of the 1991 Lakeside Championship, back before the split, just cast your eye over it at some point. It was a demolition job that week from Dennis Priestley. Yeah, he could certainly play. South York. 95. I think he always like to half require of 164. <laughs> Warby 164. There's the first part. Second part is 54. There's that. Bull. Game Ooh, shot. Yeah, yeah, we love that. My Warburton. Two massive finishes in this second set. This game is starting to deliver. A 160 and then a 164. I promise you, it Full doesn't get very much better first. than that. That was Game superb on. from Mike Warburton. Prince leads 2 1, but back. With the throw now, that was a break of throw, and Mike Warburton right back 100. into the second set. I'll go back to what you were saying, John, about the set score. That's a great shot, don't get me wrong, but the set score is the main separator. If he loses this set, that 164 means nothing. 140. Oh, the Badger. I where's, presume. Where's Bodger? When you say Badger, you've got to have a Bodger as well. It's an old kid. 100. Roger and Badger. I'm sure my age now. I sometimes think you've never actually quite got past your 10th birthday. Nope. It's still 1989. 85. You have sort of a, a lot of CBeebies on your, uh, on your TV at home. I thought that was between just you and me. <laughs> Fireman Sam on speed. 
Speed, 100. Uh, speed tune. I think there's a lot of dart players who are named after children's TV characters. These two have just got somewhat simple nicknames. Everybody calls Dave Prinzy, and everybody calls Mike Warby. 100. It's a good match, this one, and not a lot between them. Mike looking to get the hold after that 164, sometimes having had the 60. tremendous checkout. Every pro darts player would say it's settling down, getting the adrenaline rush back out of your veins and getting steady to continue the match. We are getting drip fed some of the genius that Mike has. 100. But he must remain positive in this Mike spot. He might need another big finish to stay in this set. 76 is very, very makeable for Dave Prince. 141. Well, he's got the treble 20. Treble 19 he needed and he's missed it. So here comes Dave 89. Prince for the second set. Should get Dave a set dart here. 76. But he has got a history in this set of missing singles. Can't miss a single here. Doesn't. Tops for 1-1. One, one. Way over the bar. Oh, that was massively overpitched, wasn't it? Mike so required Mike Warburton 52. to go back onto level terms. Double 16 now. That should work in his favour. Game and shot on the fourth leg. Mike no Warburton makes it two apiece. And now it Fifth goes down stays to the first. deciding leg for the second set. Now that 164 is really important because it's given him the foundation. He's had a little bit of fortune in leg four. He's One used it to his advantage, but the badger may not be denied. What a great start. What a great start. Mike Warburton would love to have flung it straight back at him, but it's not happening. Needs a treble and can't 60. find it. Advantage Prince with that little nine by the side of his name. Dare we mention it? No. Well said, John. It's only been 32 years since Paul Lim hit that nine daughter in 81. 1990 against Jack McKenna. I do believe that's a sign for Maria O'Brien, who's She's coming up next. next. Yeah. She's up next. 100. Good player, Maria. Yeah, nice lady. Up against Myla Noyens of the Netherlands, who came through round one. Dave Prins, one hundred grip here. He's the first one down to a finish. It's going with the throw. This one, Warburton winning set one on the throw. One hundred. Prins is in a huge Dave advantageous spot here. Six darts from one forty at least. He'd love to get it right now. Can't finish, but he just needs another one. one and that's a perfect setup. Yesterday I saw somebody in that exact same spot on 140 finish. And sometimes when your opponent is so far adrift, the better thing for you is to just get the ton 60. instead of leaving yourself on say, double 10 or double 5. 40. This for the set. Double 10. Game that's shot the on the second set. set. And Day on through. He squares it up. It's one apiece, and it's going to be a tight one. Dita's smiling right now. That's a first really good opportunity for her first to win a first one. world championship this week. There's a bit of bit of music, you know. I know, I know you're you're an early you're an early to bed guy, aren't you? You go back you go back and get your beauty sleep and read a 41. nice book as you turn in, but. Those of, uh, who, of us who actually ventured to a little bit of the social side of Lakeside, Dita was producing some very, uh, she was producing some very, very good dance moves. I'm not 79. surprised. She's got very, very good rhythm. Well, all I can say is that um, she was by a distance the most impressive dancer out there. 100. In include our esteemed referee, Mr. Dundas. Oh, that's a big call. Dundas loves a dance. Are you trying to tell me that it's Dita for Strictly? <laughs> She'd be very good on this, I'm sure. 
Okay, start the hashtag, everybody. Dita for Strictly. 100. I've had a text from my friend Dave Evans, great dart player from the northwest of England. He reliably informs me that Mike is a CNC machinist. 100. Which uh, does parts for planes. Oh, okay. Skilled job by the sounds of it. No wonder he's a good technician when it comes to throwing darts. Well, nothing in those first two sets and uh, every indication that this game is going to go long. One I, thought go, I thought it would go three sets to two uh, regardless of the winner. I just thought it was going to be a really tight match. Favourite was Warby. For those who follow such matters. 140. Good visit. Might you require 160. Right, well, we've seen Dave Prince do this. Could we see another? Oh, hello. 120. I'm surprised that he missed it. He did the hard part, didn't he? Dave require 101. Right, 101 for a break of throw. Good dart. And tops he needs. 81. Just wonder if he flicked off the flight of the Might single one, which was 40. way too close to that tops. Double ten for the man from Wrexham. 20. Can't afford those misses. Not when you're throwing first in this leg. No, that could be costly. Dave require 20. Double ten. Just inside. Fifteen. Oh, big dart, best of order, and dragged it low. And he's furious with Might himself. Require twenty. Every right to be. Warburton back again. Yeah, you shot on the first leg. This time. Do you know what I like about that dart, John? Second leg. It's Dave. I'm actually hitting it. First. It was nowhere near the double fifteen. If you are going to miss double ten. You'd much rather miss it north because you've still got options, whereas south, you could bust the shot. That's a really good positive dart. 46. The yep. Six is the one adjoining 15 on the top side. Just looking back to that World Masters in 2019 100. that Mike made the semi-finals of, it wasn't really that close in the semi-finals where he lost to Scott Waits. And ultimately, Scott would not lift the title again. He would lose out to John O'Shea, one of our favourite players 96. on the circuit. Full of vibrancy, John O'Shea. He's named the Joker. He is great fun, is John. Lovely Irish humour. Absolutely. He else from Cork. 60. He's got a name that just rolls off the tongue. It's just one word, John O'Shea. I'm sure John's watching on. He did play in the 2020 championship. 133. I think Dave Prince, for his career, we'd love to uphold the greatness of the late Phil Nixon. Yeah, what a what a what a player he was, and how much he still missed. Died very sadly, much before his time. And, of course, he played his part in that never-to-be-forgotten final when he was 6-0 down. Got it back to 6-all, and then Wolfie won the decider. Is yeah. that 2007? Yeah, 2007. That's a, a cult classic, that one. Wolfie getting his first title, but pushed all the way by the legendary Phil Nixon. Yeah, he's a lovely, lovely fellow, Phil was. Uh, Warburton should look at the bull here. That's a really good play there from him, because the 25... Leaves Dave the two darter. If he'd have got the bullseye, it would have been a slightly different two darter. But there is a chance here for Prins. He's got the first dart he wanted. Oh, dear, 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 dear. He only needed a single 20, and he could have got the bullseye to have put it away. 90. Mike oh, Furious, he 96. can't believe he missed that. Where does Warburton go if he misses the 60? Does he stay there, or does he go to double 18? Double 18, hit for tops. 
Oh, yeah, yeah that's on the second line. World class moment for 2 0 in the third. I think his uh, supporters, particularly his wife there, were third mighty leg. impressed nice with that. First. And now he Game has on. had the break of darts and now throwing for the third set. Break at the end of this set, incidentally. Warburton would love to go into that break 2 1 up 60. after winning 3 0 in the third. But I've got to say, that dart at the start of that 96 visit, it was so precarious his decision about whether to stay on the treble or go for the double-double effort. And it took him maybe 45. half a second to figure it out. And he stayed in rhythm and hit it. That just goes to show the match fitness that Warburton has right now. It was certainly a quality, quality way to win the leg and a quality way to move into a well, dominant well, position well, in this set. And trying to build on that now and going well. I think Prince knows that Warburton is warming to the task. 60. Yeah, he seems to be visibly finding another gear here. Something to be said as well to be the first person into the third round. 60. The field will shrink until you play next. It's always a bit of a strut in your step when you're the person walking around this place. Oh, I'm already in round three. You've still got to. Play your round two match. 58. Now these guys would love to have that swagger over the next couple of days. And the winner, remember, to play either Aaron Turner or Jim McEwen, the Scotsman. Aaron, Laura Turner's husband, who we saw in action yesterday. 140. Yeah, Laura played a, a better game up on that stage last night than her debut in 2019. But ultimately... Suzuki was too strong. 101 for the set then, Mike Warburton. Dave Prins can only 76. just step back and hope that he Mike gets another chance 101. to fire away and try and put some pressure on, but it's not looking as though it's going to be that way. Warburton, well, he can't finish now. He didn't need that. And he's just wondering what he's going to leave here. 27 left. 78. I think there might have been a miscount there. Yeah, I believe there has been. You don't see dart players on 23 very often. Now he's got to get his head on, stop making errors, and get this set won before things get sticky. 84. A little bit of uh, lack of concentration there. So this again is for the third set. Double eight this time. Gets the maths right. Tiny adjustment. Game and here it goes. The Mike Warburton gets himself ahead. Once again, that little round. to throw first. Game on. We've got another couple of men's matches this afternoon, which will also be this former best of five sets. The ladies' match coming next is best of three sets, like it was in round one. I'm looking forward to seeing young Luke Littler in action on this stage. Another very impressive young talent. What is he, 15? 15 years of age. What were you doing when you were 15, John? I certainly would have absolutely been destroyed by the pressure of going up on a stage like this. I could not have handled it. Absolutely no way. Well, Luke Littler has been playing all around Europe at his young age. I got a chance to meet the young man last night. Super level-headed. Can't wait to get up there. 140. I'm really, really fascinated to see what he can do this afternoon. One hundred and forty. Lovely grouping. This is just a really good start from Warburton. Two consecutive one forties to start set four. One hundred and thirty-three. It's good thinking that from Dave Prince. Three hundred and three. He had seven nineteens to leave one hundred and seventy. 60. He does have a shot Dave, you require at the biggest checkout. We've seen some big ones already. 70. Apologies about the uh, score there, which uh, seemed to have taken on a, a mind of its own for a moment. 100. Mike, you require 161. 161. He's had a 164. 
And it's not going to be another massive checkout. Not this time. You can't put big pressure on this 70 that Prinz 99. has got left. That's they a decent pressure. 70. So if Prinz does only get one shot at a double, it's big pressure on it, but he does get two. Great treble 10. Back to the 10s, but the double segment this time. Game shot really on the first well leg. He did do Dave Prinz. Well. Uh, Second leg, it's Mike to throw first. Terrific treble on the 10. Hold the throw then, that was for Dave Prinz. 140. When he had the throw in the second set, of course he won it. So is he going to repeat that? So we're going to go maybe towards a deciding set. I still think we're going to go the distance in this one. Great 15 daughter in the first leg of this set from Prinzy. He's got a lot of friends up in the northeast of England who will be watching on this afternoon. 100. Wishing him well. Trying to follow in the footsteps of many a northeast player that's played on this stage. The likes of Gary Robson, Phil Nixon, Davy Richardson, Paul Jennings. Good 140. Dance. And following the tradition in style there. Loses the line there, Warby, and that gives Prinz a real invitation in leg two. It was a mining part of the world, wasn't it, up there in Durham once upon a time? Hugely. I do believe Dave's from around the Easington area, which... 83. Must get another. Trevor, 140. Dave, you require 138. So 138 for Prince. Looking at the trouble 20 for starters. Can't finish now, so Warburton favourite to take this leg and to square up the match. 58. Mike, you require 76. Trouble 20 needs. Could be a two dart checkout. 50. 56 now. 16 for tops. Game shot in the second one. Oh, My ball was a shot at tops. It's absolutely it's dead center and, and dead center between the wires. Oh, just a sign of how good he can be. That was a special dart. Possibly to steer him with the chance of winning this one by three sets to one. Because Prince was poised. 140. I know for a fact that. Mike Warburton is not a Wrexham football fan, but being from Wrexham, I'm sure this week that place is bouncing after what happened a couple of days ago where they 100. have got themselves to Wembley and they got a, was it a 92nd minute winner in their semi-final. I must confess that slipped below my radar. I was concentrating on the darts. What a goal it was for Wrexham in that 92nd minute. and. Of course, Wrexham as a town has been lifted by their football club being bought by Hollywood actor Ryan Reynolds. Indeed. 100. And his mate, Mr. McElhinney. But great times for North Wales. And Mike Warburton is definitely trying to make Wrexham a little bit happier still. Wrexham were... 5-2 down 60. against Dover, I'm being told, and managed to come back and win 6-5 in the 98th minute. That's right. What a game that would have been. There's some, I tell you what, there's some Wrexham knowledge in this team here. I didn't know that. I, I, I have to hold my hands up and say I was fed that information. So if it's massively incorrect, if somebody's making me look a fool, then I, I apologise to the people of Wrexham. But the guys behind the scene are insistent that this is correct. Yeah. They've had a good couple of weeks of Wrexham. Very happy no. times in North Wales. Now, Warburton has got himself a chance here. Six starts from 2 or one if Prinz does not find his checkout. He's got to go 25 and bull again here. But he's going to stay. No, he's going to switch. It was the right thing to do. He just didn't execute it. Dave's 102. 102. This to put him 2-1 up. Starting at the top of the board. 82 needed. Treble 14 for would leave him tops, but he can't do it. 54. 
This is a big moment for Warburton. Mike to require 117. To get a shot potentially at tops. Treble 19 is the must. Tops it is for 2-1 and a break of yeah, three. Oh, he's very close. Very close indeed to round three. He's starting to find the right shots at the right times. Yep, and he Cold thinks thing. he's got it's him right now, doesn't he? First game you see the reaction there with the darts now. And it's one leg away from victory. Sixty. Very brilliant. steady performance it, it, here. It was a brilliantly executed checkout again. Really was. Got to give yourself that chance of tops on that 117. You've got two opportunities that are trouble, whether it be the 60 or the 57. Eight. Close on both darts. One successful, one not so, but really good effort. Warburton averaging 87, Prince 88 for those who uh, like to be kept aware of those little stats. 140. But the big stats is 2 1 and 2 1 in legs and the head as well in the running total in what could be the final leg of the match. We had a Canadian player last night called Sean Burt. Good who, player. 85. Who was called Mr. Intensity. Well, <laughs> we've got quite a few intense players in this field. Warburton is one of them. He tends to keep his intensity for maybe just before the game starts. 100. But I think the most intense player I've seen this week is Veronica Ihas. She was staring a hole through that board last night when she took out the American player, Paula Murphy. 140. Could have done with that third one going in, but that's a good consolation. Warburton, six darts from 201. A little bit of trouble. 45. Oh, savage deflection. Wicked deflection. But he has got to look at that 156, and that will be some way to finish the contest. Prince very close to the exit door once again. Desperately needs a treble here. Six. And he's not got them. The grouping was brilliant. Like require but he just couldn't get it in the section that really counted. And so here comes Mike Warburton with 156 for the match. He won't do it on this occasion, but he'd love to leave it somewhere close. 60. And he can't find the treble either. Dave, you require 136. Only 105 scored in his last six darts. Gives Prince this opportunity to save the match. Beautiful. Needs another. Gets another. Double eight. It's almost another biggie, but Warburton now has a two darter to win the contest. The Badger can only Mike just stand back 96. and wait and hope. Warby needs 96. Treble 20 would leave double eight. He's going 18, so. Hit it a little 56. bit earlier in the match, and it doesn't happen a second time. Dave, you require Prince 16. for 2 2 in set four. This must be hit to stay in the championship. Yeah, it's really good, play. and it's a one-leg decider in set four. And Dave Prince will have the darts. Fifth leg, it's I Dave to throw first. might still go to that Game deciding on. set. Made it look easy, but I tell you what, that was a, an absolutely key dart. If he'd missed that, that it'd be goodbye. Absolutely right. Warburton was not going to miss that tops, or indeed getting 40 points with three darts. 58. A few shouts from the Welsh contingent urging Mike Warburton on. Could be one of those scenarios in this leg. John, 100. Where somebody gets a match dart. That that main man, I think that's Ben Hazel's brother. Looks very much like him. He does. And if Warburton does get a match dart and misses it in this set, if we go to a set five, he's going to find himself so much further away from the victory door than he does at the end of this leg. If he gets a shot, he will want to take it immediately. One hundred. Key last start. Keeps him back on level terms, more or less. And now Dave Prince, pressure on him. He has to take this leg, otherwise it's all over. This is good. 
133. Second time in the match, he's hit a 133 down south. To leave that 170 check out, really good tactics, mathematics, and execution there from Prinzi. 140. He's also on a big David finish, 161. 170. He's had a 164 in this match, if you're just joining us. 170 then. Hold on. Just a bit too much gumption on that second dart. It's a big ask, but Warburton has got Mike a shot here to win it. With Prinz sitting on 36 and hopeful he's still having to wait. He can do it, or he could have done it had he got the treble 17. That would have left the bullseye. Now Dave Prinz to keep the match alive. This Dave is pressure. 36. He misses this just outside the double 18. He must miss it high because of the way his darts sit in the board. Game or you can just hit it straight away and take us all Dave the way Prince. to set number five. Well, well, we said we thought it might go all the way to a decider, and so it is. And the two lads just getting a bit of rehydration. Set, first leg, it's Mike to throw and first. And away we go. Game on. Well, in leg four of that set, Warburton had 201 points and he was afforded nine darts from that point to win the match. He was not 60. able to convert it. But you've got to give Prince credit because he has not afforded Mike Warburton a match dart to this point. We now play best of five legs to see who goes through. I've been watching quite a long time. We could have just played one set, couldn't we? 60. Here you go, lads. Forget those. Forget that goes for. It's a bit like doing... 12 reps of a bench press it's the the final three reps that give you the results apparently i'll take your word for that 140. one. i think that shirt might have seen a few years at the lakeside i think it said 1994 to 2015 which was the year that scott mitchell won the title and we will see scott this week hey, he's coming down Nice to see the big lad. 140. I think he's with us tomorrow. Yeah, we've got Wolfie today. We've got a visit from Scott Mitchell. And a, a certain Glenn Durrant is popping down to see us this week as well. 60. Prince's average is starting to climb. What's he up now? Up above 90 now. So that gradual improvement in his game is starting to be reflected in the statistics. And Warburton is still around the 88 mark, 100. which is respectable. Uh, Warburton was a fairly, fairly strong favourite to win this match, but uh, Dave Prinz is no respecter of predictions. 100. Mike to require 141. 141. Trouble 20, trouble 19, double 12. But not to be the way so often that attempted nine darters end. 60. Dave, you require 104. Many different ways you can go for 104. 18s potentially. That's what he uses. He'll stay in that region. Treble needed. Doesn't find it. So Warburton now, 81. He's taken 60 off that 141. It's the other portion of that 90. 141 check out that he needs. The treble 19 and double 12. Mike, you require 81. Right, treble 19 is where he's starting for this. He's got the single. So treble 12 would leave double 13. And that's a great dart. Double 13. This for the hold of throw. 55. Not good. The line of that one was spot on. Just overthrew it. If it was half an inch lower, it was perfect. Flight is in the way of double seven. Probably looking at the left hand portion. He did that, but he overshoots Ten. it this time. And this is following a pattern of earlier where Warburton was getting two bites of the cherry. Double 13 for the hold of throw. Now, he should be able to use that, you would think. Still an adjustment needed. 13. And overdoes it. Not happy. 
He has Dave, you require to four. Very bereft. This leg should be in the bank. Prinz throws those 26 gram darts very upright. And that dart is going to shield double two. Probably a good dart. That's a leave an open double one. No which score. Is also missed. Well, my goodness. Mike can require 13. What do we say? Deja vu once again. <laughs> Double four. It's, yeah, there. Shot on the first leg. it's not the best leg My in the world. It certainly wasn't. But it's 23 darts. And he Second doesn't leg. care Stay because he got the leg first. and Prince Game didn't. Off. After all that, it's a hold of throw. If it all goes the way with... Holds a throw, then Mike Warburton with the man to emerge victorious. I think things might be a little bit less straightforward than that. What do you think of this rule this week where we're going to have matches with no tiebreakers? 60. If you play a last set decider, it's essentially best of five legs. You're not going to have this must win by two clear legs stuff. Well... I, I'm not. I'm not against this. 140. Do you remember back in 1992 when Phil Taylor played against Mike Gregory? They went all the way to the one-leg shootout at 5-5 five, five in the last set in the final. One of the greatest 85. dance matches ever. Yeah, one of the one of the better <laughs> players not to have uh, really hit the total heights. Mike Gregory. He on his day he was. A, Something very special. Yeah, what a player. What a shot that is from Prince. Great answer to what happened in leg one. He's on 47 after nine darts. 134, 140, then the maximum. Seemingly guaranteed to square it up here, you would Dave, think. You require 256 Warburton, 47 required. Finds the 15 for double 16. Game shot on the second line. Beautifully done. Dave Prince. We might have gone seven tops no, we Come on. Decides the oh, conventional dear. way. And so Third Dave leg, is might still throw in first. their pitching on level Game terms. On. I think that's the best leg of the tournament so far. I don't think anybody's had a 10 dart yet. No, I don't believe they have. I think that was... It was brilliant, wasn't it? 11 dart leg. Yeah. Didn't miss his shots at all. 60. What he would give for another couple of those. Just because he throws those really heavy thick barrels doesn't mean he can't score heavily the previous leg just proved it they certainly land heavily don't they they really thud into that board when he lets them go and he's in a good place here needs to get the break of course Six. and he has a terrific opportunity now he's taken the darts if there is momentum in this game it is firmly with the man from county durham he's the one who looks more at ease here and is finding that trouble with more regularity 100. This is great scoring from Prince. Yeah, an 11 darter, and he's backing it up here. We have, of course, had another Prince. 100. The Lakeside previously. No relation. A lady by the name of Sharon Prince from the Netherlands. She's not here this year. I was going to say, different country, no mind, no relation. If Sharon is watching. Hope you're well. Hopefully see you again at some other point, but that's a really unfortunate dart there for Prinz. 40. Destroys his flight, and that might be the invitation that Warburton needed, a little bit of fortune. Collects the rubbish off the floor, and Warburton now trying to regain the initiative. Good first dart. Plenty of room. 100. Can't find the one he needed. Only an advantage of 40 points. Prince should be on a finish after this visit. It depends what finish it will be. Just opening up the bed. His darts do kink to the left. That's a great adjustment. 85. It's the last dart, though. Bit unlucky, that one, wasn't it? It got kissed away off the barrel of the, of the first dart. So Warburton on 181. And claiming the initiative, maybe. 100. Well, Dave, you require 136. Prince has got a chance. That is a perfect shot. 
that one is anything but perfect, unfortunately for Dave. He couldn't have walked to the board and put it in a better spot with dart one. Warburton has been scraping and scrubbing right in require, this set. 81. He must find this. This for just a hold of throw. Treble 19 to leave double 12. Good dart. Double 12. This is pressure. James Andy on the with Sanzitz. That's a terrific oh, dart. Two one up, and he's one away from victory. Full he's he's deflecting Prince with some Game great ball. fight. He's not playing his best in this set, but he is somehow two one ahead and now one leg away from the third round. Everything looked as though it was heading towards Dave Prince, didn't it? And he just couldn't get it home. 58. 58. Warburton had loved to kick this door off its hinges. This advantage of throw in the final set is proving to be enormous for the Welshman. Prince has got to find a break, but only if he holds here. Time is just slipping away. 60. That's not enough. I love matches like this. Finally poised. It's not just about the brilliance they find now or have found throughout this match. It's about seeing how they perform under this 26. kind of pressure. 26 only from Warburton. Well, he'll be annoyed about that. Chuntering him to himself as he makes his way to the back of the hockey. I've heard from many players over the years saying how much they learn about themselves in spots like this. 85. Prince gets 85, but that's all right for now. His gap is good enough. It's 117. Warby needs a big hit. Otherwise, it all comes down to whether or not 43. he can hold his throw in what would be the deciding leg of a match. You could say that this leg was a free hit for Warburton to get the match done. But the scores from him, 60, 26, 43. 95. Does that reflect him just trying to sail into this fourth leg? Or is it because he's feeling the pressure? Well, we'll know that if it goes to the deciding leg, won't we? Nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all wrong with that. That gets my approval. What a way to get yourself off the floor. He barely scored 140. In fact, he hadn't scored 140 with his first nine darts, and then he gets it with three. 140. Well, it's a big advantage for Dave Prince now. Warburton needs trebles. He's got one, could do with another. 100. Not maybe enough. Dave, the Hollywood shot. 63. Prince 63 to deny Warburton a look at the Hollywood. Beautiful. Double 12. There's a hush in this place. 39. There is still a hush. Now Warburton needs 25, 57 Mike ball, or two balls for double 16. Here we go. There's the 25. Treble 19 would leave bullseye. Can't find it. So Dave Prince, favourite to go now 29. to a deciding leg. He needs Dave double required 12. 24. I don't know a left-hander in the game that doesn't love double 12. How about double six? Oh, you can see how much it's blocked. He has to go to his right and look high. This is a difficult arrow. He squints, he concentrates. And Dave he hits, on the what a dart, what a dart that Prince. was. My goodness, Come that on. took some nerve. He was going for a very, very small target there with Fifth that first dart it's Mike's blocking the way. And so it goes to a deciding leg with the match at two sets apiece. Warburton with the darts, there are the averages. 100. But it all comes down now to a test of nerve.
Those averages are just a guide for what has gone before. They are irrelevant. It is all about this leg only. 15 darts yeah. might be enough for Warburton to come through this really good tussle for a Monday afternoon at Lakeside. Forty-three. Well, that's a bit of a, a bit of a wobble, if ever there was. Opportunity for Prince to maybe seize the lead. Warburton's only a dart ahead. If it's a trebleless visit, Warburton retains the lead, 82. but there is a treble. Terrific time to find that. That is one of the best 140s of his career to date. Because of the pressure he's under, the lead is 120. He'll remain in the lead with the throw. 45. And has an advantage of points as well. Tremendous scrap between the two this has been. And Warburton will be first on to a finish. This guy has got kahunas. Back-to-back -back 140s, and he's within touching distance now. He should be guaranteed at least one match dart. Nobody to this stage in this match, John, has had a match dart. That's how close it's been. Mike well, requires going to happen 78. Now. Looking at 18s. 20 would leave tops. Now for the match. Yeah, and Mike Warburton takes it. Quality game of dance, you feel for